I'm Tara and I'm going to King's College London for the upcoming fall intake. Hi, I'm Meera and I'm going to the University of Toronto for the fall intake as well. And we are here to compare UK and Canada on various factors to help you understand what's best for you. I am so excited to finally kickstart my life abroad. We'll get to see the iconic Niagara Falls and then drink coffee at Tim Hortons. Good for you. At least I'll not freeze myself to death. Enough. We're not here to fight and diss each other. You're going to UK's top university and I'm going to the University of Toronto. Both the universities and countries are equally good with world-class education systems and rich cultures. That's right. The UK has a long-standing reputation of academic excellence and boasts of some of the world's top-ranked universities. Not just that, UK is known for its multicultural society providing a welcoming environment for international students and English being the primary language of instruction. It will be a great opportunity for me to immerse myself in the local culture. Hmm. Well, Canada is home to world-renowned universities and colleges known for their high academic standards and quality education. Institutions such as the University of Toronto, McGill University and the University of British Columbia consistently rank among the top universities globally. Anyway, what's your funding situation and how much is your tuition fee? Yeah, so I have enrolled myself into a one-year fast-paced MSc Finance Analytics program and the fee is £34,000 of which I have received an automatic bursary of £6,000 and I'm pretty much self-funding my tuition fee plus living expenses. Since I'm going to a tier 1 university and it's based in London, my expenses will be on a higher end. But it's important to know that you can study in the UK for about £25,000 to £30,000 as well. I see. That's the case with me as well. My tuition fee is about 65,000 Canadian dollars for an MBA program and I am completely relying on scholarships plus loans. For everyone watching this, you must know that there are many colleges that offer PG diploma programs with tuition fees of about 15,000 Canadian dollars which is just 10 lakhs in Indian rupee. I am going for a two-year program and then I will get a three-year stay-back period. That will be enough time for me to get settled there, my ROI will be recovered and I would be able to apply for a PR as well. What about you? Hmm. Well, for me, it will be a two-year post-study work visa and I'll get a sponsorship from my employer if I want to extend my work visa. Impressive. The university rankings in both the countries are top-notch and the varied courses being offered are an icing on the cake. The decision whether to apply in the UK or Canada will be completely yours to make depending on your academics, budget, personal preferences and long-term goals. We have given you a brief idea about the tuition fee cost, living expenses and PR opportunities both in the UK and Canada. Should you want to know more about these countries, call us at the toll-free number mentioned in the description. If you like this video and would like to watch more of our upcoming videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified.